you want to get more number of patient for your clinic or hospital uh, you want to increase the patient footfall in your clinical practice and hospital setup so then this video is for you if you are a doctor please watch this video till the end so that you do not miss a single point uh, because you never know a single idea from this video can increase your and impact your clinical practice your clinic or your hospital setup so you do not want to miss that so do not skip any part of this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel my name is dr nitin and i help clinics and hospitals to grow the patient football in their clinic and hospital setup so subscribe to this channel and let's get started with uh, today's topic and we'll, we are going to discuss about how you can get more number of patients and increase the footfall to your clinic or hospital setup so the very first uh, strategy uh, is or the principle is that you need to focus on strategic marketing you need to focus on the marketing so that this is the number one and the most critical component that can help to boost the number of patients in your clinic or hospital so if you are not doing enough amount of marketing then you need to consider this idea uh, and there might be different ways how you can doing marketing there are offline marketing channels there are online marketing channels and in today's world uh, believe or not the online marketing channels are the most effective marketing channels for getting patients for your clinic or hospital setup so consider that and uh, make your strategic planning accordingly then you need to focus on the community engagement you need to be constantly engaging and doing some kind of uh, patient initiatives or patient related campaigns for connecting with your uh, patients so that you are reaching out to your patients and serving them do not wait for your patients to come to your clinic or hospital you need to be proactive and you need to be proactively contributing to the society uh, through this various community engagement activities then you need to focus on the reputation management so uh, when i say reputation management it's not about just uh, how reputed your clinic or doctor is it's about your online presence particularly when your patients are searching for you in the online platform and if you are not present there you are missing that opportunity and you need to understand what is the kind of impression that patient is getting uh, from your online presence so that's why you need to consider the online reputation management for your uh, clinic or hospital growth then you need to consider enhance accessibility for uh, your patients so that you are available for your patients uh, at various locations and that's how you can uh, increase your presence so you can think about uh, having a, a rotatory kind of system where you will visit on particular location on particular days or particular timings or you set up a, a small peripheral or satellite clinic in some uh, different uh, part of your city or your village so that the patients are able to connect with you in that location also then you need to have a patient centric approach this is a very critical principle because if you and your clinic or your hospital is not following this principle including your staff then you will not have patients for longer time because let's let's consider this fact though you are getting more number of patients but the patients are not able to get that satisfactory experience they are going to leave you sooner or later and that's why it's very much critical you to give that patient satisfaction whenever the patient is interacting with you or your staff so do not miss this critical opportunity then you need to focus on uh, aspects related to effective communication uh, and this includes 
the face to face communication the kind of experience that patient is getting with your staff members or team members and also the uh, online communication that you are doing with your patients particularly to educate uh, uh, your patients about various health conditions so that's why use various channels and modalities and social media can be very one of the powerful and effective communication tools uh, particularly to educate your patients uh, so you if you are not utilizing please start utilizing that from today itself and i forgot to mention at the start of this video but please do not just watch this video like a satsang it's not a pravachan that i am giving these are the strategic initiatives that you need to implement in your clinic and how your hospital setup so whatever i am discussing here please go back and start implementing from today itself in your clinic or your hospital setup because if you are not going to implement you are not going to see any results and this video is not for uh, somebody who want to see results without taking any actions and this video is even not for anybody somebody who is looking for shortcuts or get rich quick schemes this is for the serious health trainers who are dedicated for their patients and they are seriously looking to grow their clinic or their hospital setup so let's move to the next part you need to consider about quality service delivery your clinical irrespective of what uh, prices you are charging to your patients do not uh, compromise on the quality whether your patient is paying you or not paying you whether they are paying you through from their pocket whether they are paying from their employer or whether they are paying you from the insurance company it does not matter you do not compromise on the quality parameters the kind of service that you provide to your patients that is the ultimate parameter which will help you to grow your clinic or hospital in a long run so that's why do not compromise on the quality then you need to focus on collaboration and various networking initiatives you need to connect with uh, other healthcare professionals in your nearby area and you need to learn from them you need to get referrals from them then only you will get uh, a patient flow and it will help you to grow your clinical practice then you need to focus on patient education programs patient education programs will have a, a double impact on your uh, clinical practice and uh, your uh, hospital growth it will not only help you to get more number of patient through this patient education programs but it will also improve the clinical outcomes of your patients so that's why it's very critical to implement this kind of patient education initiatives in your hospital or your clinic and online channels particularly social media platforms and your website can be very affordable tools when it comes to this kind of patient education initiatives and if you are not implemented that start implementing that right now then uh, another uh, critical principle is the continuous improvement you need to constantly focus on uh, all the aspects that i mentioned till now and all the points of patient interaction in your clinic or hospital you need to look at all the areas diligently and you need to figure out what is the scope of improvement in this particular area how i can improve patient quality how i can uh, improve the patient uh, clinical outcome you need to constantly ask this question to yourself and if you are looking for this kind of uh, solutions i invite you to uh, attend my uh, live workshop where i will help you with three secrets to grow your clinical practice and your hospital setup you can register for this workshop for free you can check the link in the description of this video and uh, attend with your staff so that you come to know about uh, different uh, ideas how you can grow your clinical practice and your healthcare business and if you found this video useful please uh, like and share this video with your uh, medical friends and doctors 
and if you have any questions related to growing and getting more number of patients in your clinic or hospital setup let me know in this comment section uh, if you have any particular concern around getting this patient i will definitely reply to your comment and that's all for now this is dr nitin signing out